An interesting variation of the 400-day or anniversary clock is what's called the Atmos clock. These were made by the Le Culture Com Company in Switzerland. We could have talked about this as a Swiss clock, too. Um, these have the torsion spring, the pendulum, which oscillates very slowly back and forth. But these, sometimes, even by the company, are called perpetual motion clocks. You don't have to wind at most clocks. And the reason for that is that there's a bellows in the back that's similar to a barometer. And very slight movements of that bellows in and out with changes of temperature and pressure are enough to wind the clock. Of course, it has to be a very fine mechan clock mechanism to run on such low power as is generated by that bellows going in and out. But in this case, the Atmos design, which goes back to the 1930s, uh, was a successful one with the highly jeweled movement, very low friction, and very slow oscillation of the pendulum, which allows you to have a uh, have almost a perpetual motion clock as long as you live somewhere where the temperature and the barometric uh, pressure changes regularly, and virtually every place on the Earth does that. They calculate that one degree centigrade change in temperature is enough to wind the clock for 48 hours worth of running. So. Almost everywhere in the earth where you live, this clock is going to stay wound and really going to stay keeping pretty accurate time. This is an early rare version, as are many of the ones I've shown you, because this has a low serial number indicating it was made very early in the range, and it's also in a chrome case. Virtually all of these were in brass or gold cases. This one's in chrome. They still make Atmos clocks. You can still buy them. They're very expensive to repair, so if you buy a used one, you need to be very certain that it's working or you're going to spend a minimum of $500 having it fixed.